It's time to discover, it's time to play So let's get started right away Today we're going to say the rhyme Animals are so charming Let's get started I went to the city zoo Saw a camel and a gnu Saw an anaconda too Animals are so charming Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. I looked at the tall giraffe, watched a hippo take a bath, and the monkeys made me laugh. Animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. The gorilla had some swings. Penguins flapped their funny wings. And the seals swam through some rings. Animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. Polar bears gave me a fright. Zebras' coats were black and white. Elephants stood at a great height. Animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. That's a great rhyme. Let's take a closer look at it. So it starts out, I went to the city zoo. I love going to the zoo. Saw a camel and a gnu. So a camel has humps and a gnu, they look sort of like wildebeest. Saw an anaconda too. Ooh, that's a big snake, an anaconda. Animals are so charming. And that sort of repeats at the end of each verse. And then we go zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo and it repeats over and over again, and then ends with, animals are so charming. The next, the next paragraph goes, I looked at the tall giraffe. So giraffes are tall with that long neck. Watched a hippo take a bath. That would be fun, wouldn't it? And the monkeys made me laugh. I love watching the monkeys. They're always doing something silly. And then we go again through zoo, zoo trip to the zoo. Then we go to the next paragraph, the gorilla had some swings. So the gorilla, and a lot of times there's a lot of swings in the gorilla where they live, where the gorillas live. Penguins flapped their funny wings, because penguins, when they swim, they really flap those wings and swim around fast. And the seals swam through some funny rings. So seals, a little bit bigger, but a lot of times they'll swim around, swim through rings, and then animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. So we repeat that again. Then polar bears. What color are polar bears? White, that's right. Gave me a fright. Maybe it's because they'd never seen a polar bear before. Zebra's coats are black and white. And they are, aren't they? Elephants stood at a great height because they're really a large animal. Animals are so charming. And then we start with zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Okay, it's your turn to say, animals are so charming with me. Let's get started. I went to the city zoo, saw a camel and a gnu. Saw an anaconda too. Animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. I looked at the tall giraffe, watched a hippo take a bath, and the monkeys made me laugh. Animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo, trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. The gorilla had some swings. Penguins flapped their funny wings. And the seals swim through some rings. Animals
animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. Polar bears gave me a fright. Zebra's coats were black and white. Elephants stood at great height. Animals are so charming. Zoo, zoo trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo trip to the zoo. Zoo, zoo trip to the zoo. Animals are so charming. You did a fantastic job saying that rhyme. Now you can go to the Loving to Learn website, run off Animals Are So Charming, and say this over and over again. It's a fun one to say. All right, let's get started with our games. The first game is I'm going to stretch out the sounds in a word and you're going to tell me what the word is. Ruh-ing. Did you get it? Ruh Ring. What's the word? Ring. You got it. And that was in our rhyme, wasn't it? Let's write the word ring. R -r -r. What letter does it start with? R. Straight line down and a round, and a roof on top. Ing. Do you remember what letters go to together to make? the sound ing. I-N-G. You're right. Like ring, wing, sing. They all have that ing. So let's write I and straight line down and around the hill and a G. Circle around down below the water and a fish hook in. You just wrote the word ring. All right. I'm going to stretch another word. Wa-ing. I'm going to do it again. S-wa-ing. What's the word? Swing. You've got it. Let's write that word swing. S-s-s. What letter makes the s-s-s sound? S. We're going to start at the top, snake around, and snake back down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a W. Slanted line down, slanted line up, slanted line down, slanted line up. Swing. There we have that ing sound again. How do we write that ing? I N G. You're right. Let's write that. I straight line down, dot on top, and straight line down and around the hill. And a G. Circle around, down below the water, and a fish hook in. There is the word swing. And there is the ing chunk, like in ring. Swing. All right, I'm going to stretch out the next word. Listen very carefully. G ave. One more time. G ave. What's the word? Gave. You've got it. G, g, g. There's that G. Circle around, down below the water, and a fish hook in. G, A. A, I hear that A too. Circle around, straight line down. G, A, V, V. V. Good job. Slanted line down, slanted line up. Then, there is a silent letter on the end of cave. What's that silent letter? E! Good for you! Straight line over, circle around. You just wrote the word gave. Alright! Let's see if you can tell me how many syllables are in the different words. The first word is anaconda. Ooh, that one's a harder one, isn't it? Four? Let's see. Anaconda. You were right. Let's do it again. Clap with me. Anaconda. 
That's a long word, isn't it? With four syllables. Good job. Do you remember what an anaconda is? That's right, it's a big snake. Let's go on to the next word. The next word is charming. How many syllables? Two. Let's check and see. Charming. You're right. Do it with me again. Charming. Two syllables. Okay. The next word is giraffe. You say two again? Let's see if you're right. Giraffe. You're right. Do it with me again. Giraffe. Two syllables. Great job. Okay, for our last game, I am going to say a word and you're going to stretch out the sounds. Are you ready? The first word is city. Did you do it? Let's see. S-it-e. One more time. S-it-e. Good stretching. Let's write the word city. It sounds like an S, doesn't it? It's a C. City starts with a C. So we're gonna start at the top and circle around. S I, I, I. I hear that I too. Straight line down, dot on top. S -t -t -t. What letter is that? T. You got it. Straight line down, cross in the middle. City. It sounds like an E, doesn't it? It's actually a Y on the end of city. So we're gonna do slanted line down, slanted line in. And there is the word city. Okay, can you stretch out the sounds in the word trip? Let's see if you did it. t r i p Did you do it right? Let's do it again. Ip. Let's write the word trip. T -t -t. There's that T. T -r, R. Good stretching. Straight line down and a roof on top. If, if, if. I. Straight line down, dot on top. T -r, ip. What is, what's that last letter? P. Straight line down, circle around the top. You just wrote the word trip. Okay, I have one more word that I need you to stretch out, and the word is zoo. Oh, that was so easy for you, wasn't it? Let's do it. Z ooh. One more time. Z ooh. Let's write the word zoo. Z, z oh I hear you saying it Z you've got it straight line over slanted line down straight line over then to make that ooh sound we're gonna write two O's so we circle around and circle around again and there we have the word zoo I hope you had a great time saying the rhyme animals are so charming See you later, alligator. <laughs>